Nobody was supposed to pick that number. There was a point where I was like, maybe I should change, but once I picked the number, you got to go out and play. Look at the speed quickness. You got to be kidding me! Sours all by himself! When I first started playing, I wore number two after my favorite player, Duncan Swayze. He was one of the few guys from like Montgomery County that went and played division one at a high level. So I wore number two through youth, through middle school, and then through high school. When I got to Princeton, Coach Madelon sent us out the different jersey number options and two wasn't an option. It was worn by Tyler Blaisdell at the time, who was the starting goalie. And 22, nobody's wearing that. Like double twos and growing up, my favorite player was Mikey Powell. Mike Powell looking to make something happen. Beats his defender. It was always so much fun to watch. Obviously, he's one of the best players to ever do it. And I think for me, growing up, I tried to take as much as I could from his game. We were both smaller guys. He was very quick. He had unbelievable stick skills, and I tried to model some of the things that I did with my stick the same way that he did. Passing from different angles, different release points, the way he saw the field, and it just seemed like he dominated games. I remember calling Coach Madeline back and saying, hey, I actually want to wear 22. I see nobody's wearing that on the roster. His response was kind of like, you sure you want to take 22? And I was like, yeah, it looks like it's available. I'll take it. I remember hanging up and 20 minutes later, it hit me. It was like, oh, Tom Schreiber, best midfielder in the world, wore 22 at Princeton. And it's like a sacred number. And nobody was supposed to pick that number. There was a point where I was like, maybe I shouldn't be wearing this number. Maybe I should change. But once I picked the number, you got to go out and play. And I tried to work as hard as I possibly can for four years at Princeton and was lucky enough to have some success. There's the feed. There's the record. Emmett Cordry scores on Michael Sauer's Princeton record. I tried to take those same traits that I learned in college, watching guys like Tom and Mikey to the pro level, and now I'm grateful enough to be able to wear the number on the biggest stage. Michael Sauer is one of the best players in collegiate history, is back, and he strikes first for the dogs. What I would hope people take away from watching me is you certainly don't have to be the biggest guy in the sport to have success in the game. It really just comes down to toughness, stick skills, speed, and strength. And, you know, if you have some sort of combination of those, you'll be able to find success at any level. How about that? Sours the slam dunk finish. Be your own champion to me means, you know, touching the, the younger generation, similar to how I was able to look up to guys like Mikey Powell and Tom Schreiber and now being a professional and being able to provide the same to hopefully the next generation of PLL players. That's what be your own champion means to me.